we are heading to um, Port 91 to get onto the Discovery Princess this morning. Hello and welcome back to the vlog. This is just a quick little recap of what you may have missed on our first vlog on the Discovery Princess. We spent most of the day just exploring around the ship and checking out the new places that we could go. We were so excited to be in Seattle on the Discovery Princess heading to Alaska. The weather in Seattle was absolutely amazing and allowed us to explore all the outside decks. We just spent a lot of time walking around and seeing all of the fun places that we could go. Once we were done exploring, we obviously found ourselves some food because what else do you do when on a cruise? We then met Karen, the cruise director, who is amazing. And then before we knew it, it was time to sail away. We absolutely loved the Discovery Princess's sail away party. It was so different from anything else we have ever seen. Good morning, it is what? Tuesday? It is, no. Monday? It's Monday. <laughs> Good morning. It is it's Monday. <laughs> Monday, day two, and it is a sea day today. We did end up vlogging or closing out the vlog yesterday for day one, but I was just kind of tired at that point. It's a we long got, day. It was a long day. It was a good day, long day. We managed to stay up till almost 11, I think, which mm -hmm. is pretty impressive. Yeah, we went to Comedian and Karaoke. And Karaoke Power Hour, which I, I thought that was fun. It was cute. Um, the Comedian was good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna... It's funny. We're gonna say him again on Juno Day. Juno... Juno Night. Juno Night. Yeah. So, we are gonna go find some food. Bracky. Hopefully some Eggs Benedict, so... We will see ya over there. We started every day off by going down to the International Cafe. They had a bunch of yummy goodies that you could get that were complimentary, but it is actually where I got my coffee every single day. I got myself an iced vanilla bean latte and they were delicious. I was so excited to start my day out with them. We then headed over to the main dining room for breakfast and what you see on this left hand side is pretty standard for every single day. The right hand side of the menu, however, changes daily and it is like their special breakfasts. For breakfast, I got the Eggs Benedict and I swapped out the Canadian bacon for salmon, which you totally can do. They are more than willing to help accommodate you. And then Dan got the smoked salmon bagel, which was delicious as well. It's cold and it's misty. We just finished having lunch um, in the buffet. There wasn't a whole lot to it. I feel like we've just spent the whole vlog complaining about the food here, but I do want to be honest with you guys and give you like a you know, truthful review of what we're experiencing so far. But the biggest reason that we picked this cruise is because of the, the itinerary, like just going to Alaska. So um, trying to be hopeful that that's gonna be really good and that's just kind of gonna blow the whole cruise out of the water. But it's really foggy, it's cold, it's rainy. Um, but they say that should clear up here pretty soon. Probably around five o'clock tonight, but the, the ocean's pretty mild right now. Yeah, no, it's not wavy at all. It's really nice. Like, minus the fog and the wind and the... The rain. The, the but rain. It's, it's an experience. We've never had a cruise like this before, so just gonna try to take it all in. There's nobody in the pool right now. There were people in the pool in the middle of the ship, but not back here. I wish I had a hot tub back here. I think it'd be really fun to just, like if this were a hot tub instead of a pool, I think that would be so cool. Cause then you could just sit out back and see the back of the ship as you go. But I do like the look of the ship. It's super pretty. So tonight is formal night. So we are all dressed up and we do have a reservation for Bistro sur la mer. I always feel like such a jerk when I say it like that and Dan always laughs at me, but that's how you say it properly. Bistro sur la mer. So it is the French restaurant on board. It is a pay for restaurant. We went to the um, 
guest services today to see if they had any open availability since we haven't had the best of luck with the dining and just complimentary food on board we decided if they did have something open early enough we would just jump on that and go eat something a little bit different so we're crossing our fingers and hoping that it's good but it is formal night so we are dressed up dan has on oh you're wearing your long sleeve shirt that looks good I didn't realize it was a long sleep. We took pictures already. Yeah. Let me well, see how much she pays attention to me. I wasn't she paying doesn't attention. Pay attention. So this is the dress that I have on today. This is just from Amazon. I think it was $40. Um, I do have like short sleeve versions of this, but I thought for Alaska where it's cooler, having a long sleeve option would be perfect. Um, it's super comfortable, super soft. I'm really happy with it. But we are going to go ahead. Our reservation is at 5.30. What time is it now? 5.11. 5.11. So we are going to go eat. Hopefully it is good. We will keep you posted. Right around 5.30 is when we started to see land again. It was super cool because from here on out, there was always something to look at. This is just a quick overview of the menu from Bistro sur la Mer. I ended up getting the... Um, seared eye tuna and Dan actually got the lobster bisque which both of those were actually really good I do have to admit that the dinner in itself was not what we were expecting but the appetizers were actually really good If you have a cruise plan for the Discovery Princess or any Princess cruise ships, make sure to have the strawberries on fire. It is the best drink. Good. We got polenta and olives. Are they olives? They're not olives. They're not olives. We just got done at the Rock Opera show, which if you go on the Discovery Princess, you definitely have to check that show out. It was so good. Um, the singers are amazing. I don't know if they have it on any of the other princess no, I ships. I think they said it might be specific to this ship for now. So it's a brand new show and it is, it's amazing. Um, the last we vlogged, we were in the French pay for restaurant and it was worse than we expected. I feel like all I'm gonna do on this vlog is complain about the food. So we got like the food that they bring out, our appetizers and then our main meals and I stopped vlogging right after we got the first like food that they bring to the table and I completely forgot. But you guys didn't miss much. It wasn't good at all. Um, after doing the rock opera show though, we decided to stop by Gigi's and try their pizza. Gigi's pizza is complimentary, so you can just come and get it. And people do say that it is the best pizza on the ocean. We shall see. <laughs> oh, I am not holding my breath. Dan got the pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni. And I got the princess pizza. It looks like it's got like prosciutto on it, which I love prosciutto. It's got Parmesan and it's got tomatoes. So I am excited to try it. There's nobody in here, which we had come at lunchtime to try the pizza and it was packed. So we're gonna eat this. I don't know if we're gonna go do anything else this evening, but probably not. We'll see. We're supposed to set our clocks back an hour tonight between here and Ketchikan. I don't know if I'll remember to do that. So I'll probably have to check my TV tomorrow morning. Officially on Alaska time. Yes, we are close. So we'll let you know how the pizza is. So verdict on the pizza, it's really good. Um, the food doesn't get better in the dining room. This is probably where we're gonna eat the rest of the cruise. 
we, we've each eaten about half of it um they will not let you take it though with you if you're done so if you eat half of your pizza and you want to take it with you you cannot do that so that's interesting um but it is actually very good i really do like the princess one because it's got that ham on it so really really good and of course we did not end our vlog but you can catch us next time on our next vlog day three where you will find us in ketchikan this was our first stop with the discovery princess and it was amazing we walked around the town we got off super early before most of the passengers did and we got to just walk around and explore after we walked around we went back to the ship for a few minutes got back off and then we walked around a little bit more before making our way to get some amazing Alaskan crab. It was so good. So subscribe to this channel so that you can see more.